There is a clearly identified need for new homes in Mole Valley, with the building of new homes a government priority. The council therefore needs to identify land for new housing. A blanket no to any further house building is not an option and would not help protect the green belt. The council is preparing a housing and traveller sites plan which will identify sites to meet future housing need. It will help retain the council's ability to control where development takes place. Without an approved plan, there is a growing risk that decisions to permit inappropriate developments will be taken by government inspectors on the grounds that there is not sufficient land identified for new housing. So, the council is having to focus on balancing the impact of developing on more open countryside which is currently within the green belts. The first stage in the process is to produce the Housing and Traveller Sites Plan consultation document. This sets out all of the sites put to the council by landowners and developers to consider for inclusion in the plan. We need your views to help the council narrow down the approximately 80 sites outlined in the consultation documents. This plan will help to identify sites for new homes up to 2026. The council's adopted strategy says that 3,760 homes are required in the 20 years from 2006. Around 1,720 homes have already been built and approximately 940 have planning permission. This means that the Housing and Traveller Sites Plan is looking to identify sites for approximately 1,100 homes. Ideally, the council would like to restrict development to brownfield land, such as disused industrial sites or storage above shops. But not enough of these sites are available to fully meet the requirement for new homes. Consequently, the council is having to find land which is currently in the green belts. Councillor John Northcott, portfolio holder for planning, explains the scope the sites have for meeting housing need. Uh, the 80 potential sites that have been identified could provide land for around 4,000 new dwellings. Also, some currently unidentified brownfield sites will come forward. The council's policy is that wherever possible, new development should be in the existing built-up area. And it is likely that at most only a quarter of the capacity of the 80 sites will, need to be, will be needed for housing by 2026. The Housing and Traveller Sites Plan will also look to identify sites for travellers. The council has prepared a Gypsy in Traveller Accommodation Assessment which highlighted a need for sites in Mole Valley. At this stage there are no specific sites identified for Gypsy and Traveller pitches in the plan. A number of options are currently being explored and the details of which will be outlined in the consultation document. The consultation provides Mole Valley residents with the opportunity to help the council decide where new homes could be built. I must emphasise that the council has taken no decisions to allocate any of the sites at the present time. We want to work with residents across Mole Valley to make sure that our towns, villages and countryside retain their special character. You can view and comment on the plan at www.molevalley.gov.uk and click through to individual sites within the Housing and Traveller Sites plan. You can also view detailed location maps of where potential sites in Mole Valley could be placed while you are invited to submit comments on the plan through the Council's consultation portal.